Hello and welcome. Today's short how to deals with PowerShell's execution policy mechanism. If you attempt to write your own PowerShell scripts and run them, you may be blocked because of this security check. This how to is going to look at various options that you can have so that you can safely bypass these controls, thereby allowing you to run unsigned scripts that you create or that you may receive from trusted sources. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to open PowerShell version 7 and after moving to the folder where I installed my repository, I'm going to execute test Win32 battery. Now, I don't know whether you're aware, but if you specify part of the file name and press tab, PowerShell will cycle through all files that match. Since I have more than one file starting with test, I need to press tab again and I get to my code. If I press enter though, you will see that I got an error, which essentially tells me that I do not have the execution privilege to run this script. Something that has been introduced in PowerShell is execution policies, which means that for a script to be run, you need to have the appropriate rights. Here I have a link where I can go and find more information. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to share the expanded information. My Microsoft document about execution policies. And in summary, you, you can have different types of execution policies ranging from all signed, which means that this is the most secure you can have because anything that is not signed will not execute, to the least restrictive being bypassed. Now, if I scroll down, I am interested in one particular command, which is get execution policy. So if I copy that and paste it here, I see that currently out of the box, what I have is that the default execution policy is remote signed. If you need to execute PowerShell commands, I have identified a number of ways you can do it. The first one is to open a command prompt. Again, a command prompt, not PowerShell. This is a command prompt. So what I'm going to do after opening the command prompt is I'm going to move via change directory to where my scripts are installed. Then I'm going to call the PowerShell interpreter and I'm going to specify two parameters. One being execution policy bypass and the other being the name of the script I would like to execute. Here from command prompt, if I execute this, I get this executing. The policy bypass will apply only for the duration of this command and it in no way impacts anything else. Moving back to PowerShell, what you can do is to set the execution policy for the process only. So here we're introducing a parameter called scope. I won't be going too deep into, into this topic, but basically you can specify when the execution policy is going to apply. Here I'm saying that I'm setting the execution policy to bypass only for this particular process. Now, if I were to invoke the command, it ran. The only thing you need to appreciate is that since the scope was for this process, the moment I exit here and 
open a new PowerShell session. If I were to attempt to run it, I go back to square one because the process has changed. If you want to search and look up more on the scoping, you can go through this document. If you want to change this permanently, what you can do is set the execution policy without any scope. If you try to do that within a non-administrative session, and that would be, I am told that I cannot do it because I need to run as administrator. I right click, run as administrator, and now it's okay. I need to close the session. As you can see, it did not work since the session came before the execution policy changed. But if I start a new one now, if I were to get the execution policy, you will see that it corresponds to what I had set. Being bypass, if I move my directory, that runs. The risk with this type of change is that it has changed permanently. If you decide you want to go back to what you had before, all you need to do is set the execution policy to remote. If you like this how-to, please hit the like button, subscribe, and share with your friends. Until next time, thank you, and stay safe.